short story appealed to me uh, because it seemed somehow manageable and then I realized that it was actually unmanageable and it relied on uh, very subtle things for, for, for all its power. And, but I'd made a start in it and it was what I naturally leaned toward. Um, and so writing a novel was really a jump. I think you can create a, a lasting impression with only a few breaths. It's much more, well, it has to be an intimate experience, whereas a novel can be powerful without being intimate. A short story must be intimate. And that's an interesting question because I know Joyce has a, is known for a particular type of, of denouement in his stories. Uh, for me, I wish to end the story, uh, my stories, with a certain feeling. So the feeling of the character somehow transferred into the reader. So it's very important for my readers, for me as a writer, to feel a certain empathy. Uh, and that's why I think reading is so important because it allows uh, you know, people to empathize with people they'll never meet, never have a relationship with, yet they establish an intimacy through these printed symbols on a page. It's quite mysterious. I think that the short story is a, an interesting and actually capacious vehicle for expressing philosophical uh, ideas. And uh, I edited some books with that idea in mind that in you know, short segments, certain philosophical ideas could be introduced to the reader, almost as though you know, the gates open and then hopefully close behind you and then you're, you're left to explore yourself. I do, but I think it's much more difficult to, uh, uh, to, to see those boundaries because now we all live in such different we all move around so much. For instance, um, I, I like the work of uh, Chinyo Achebe, who is a Nigerian writer, and his short story, a favorite of mine, is uh, Dead Man's Path, I think it's called. And I, that didn't seem to me, it, it was an African story, uh, but it didn't seem to me to, f to, to be in an African style. Um, there's a story from the Congo I love called Musa Kalala, uh, and it's about a talking skull. And uh, that didn't seem either to be characteristic of a, a style I'd seen in other African stories. Um, however, I, I think there were there are trends certainly, and for me, the American writers, what I love about their writing particularly is how they handle horror. I mean, Stephen King is a very famous writer horror. Flannery O'Connor, Edgar Allan Poe. I think America produces extremely uh, good writers of that genre. Um, Flannery O'Connor being one of my favorites. They handle horror in an elegant way. Uh, and of course, horror is so connected to myth, which is the fabric of storytelling. In some ways, it, it absolutely has. Um, because it's such a, a prestigious award, um, uh, people in publishing you know, keep an eye on you. I think more when you, you've won an award. Um, has it changed me as a writer? Absolutely not. When I write, I, I divorce myself from what other people think of my work. Um, I'd rather be, what's that line, I think, by André Gide, uh, it's better to be hated for who you are than loved for who you are not.